The Son of God who knew no sin. The Son of God who knew no lies. The Son of God who was pure and holy. The Son of God who was the King of Kings. The Son of God came and went to the cross and He took your wrath. He took your punishment. He took your judgment. And there as He hung on that cross, He said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And the wrath of God came upon His Son for your lies, for your sleeping around, for your drug taking, for your materialism, for your sexual impurity, for all the sexual things that you've done wrong, for your lying, your stealing, and all these things that you've done wrong. He took your wrath and died in your place that you may be right with God. That you may be right with God. That you may be forgiven. That you won't go to hell and burn in hell, but you will go to heaven. He died in your place. He died. Oh, He died. Oh, God smote His Son. God punished His Son. And His Son suffered on the cross. And He suffered on that cross. And He died on that cross suffering with the crown of thorns on his head, dying for you. <laughs> dying for you on that cross. You got a question, guys? No. no. Praise be to God. He died for you on that cross. Yeah. Praise be to God. He died on that cross for you. You got a question, sir? Pardon? Well, do you believe that's the answer to life if you trust in Jesus? I do, sir. I do. What's wrong with that, sir? Well, it's wonderful. But you know, many people think that Christians when they're born, but that's not right, is it? That's you true. Have to accept Jesus. That's it, sir. Yeah, you have you a born again Christian? Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. So so how do you get saved, sir, if someone wants to get saved? Well, you've got to realise you're a sinner. Yes. You have sinned against God. Yes, yes. And there's no good in you. Born in sin I was. Wow. But then I had to say I repented. Yes. I said I was sorry. Yes, yes. And I knew that Jesus was the answer to my life. Wow, wow. I prayed the prayer and I became a new creature. Now I'm not going to hell now. Wow, wow. I'm going to heaven. Hey, Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. That's really helpful, sir. Would you say Jesus is God, sir? No, but if someone says Jesus is an angel, would no. you? No, no. Jesus is the Son of the Living God. Amen. Amen. You know what? He's the only Son. Yes. The unique begotten. Amen. Amen. You know, people say we're all sons of God, but there's only one Son of God. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I got a, 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 a. Will we know? Will we know anybody others in heaven? I don't know, sir. You tell me, sir. Go on. Well, I believe he will because yes. Can Can I ask you a question, sir? A lot of people today in the church, even don't believe the Bible is the Word of God. They think it's got faults in it. Is the Bible the fully inspiration of the Word of God? Yes. yes. From Genesis to Revelation. Yes, yes. And no more. And would, would you encourage young believers to read and study the Word of God? Oh, well, you know what? The book of Proverbs. Yes. You know this Heinz 57? He started his business on that. Yes. If you look at Proverbs, that's all you need. Amen. 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 God bless you, sir. Can, can, can I ask a que one last question, sir? What advice would you give a young Christian who's just got saved? What things would you tell them they need to know as a young Christian? Like, pray? Oh, you've got to pray, yeah? Yes. Because now you can pray to God. Yes. Through Jesus, we couldn't do that before. Yes, you know, yes. You need to pray and you need to study and read the Bible. Yes. And also, like yourself, need to be telling people about Jesus. Thank you so much. And sir. also, make sure they live a holy life. 
Amen. Oh, thank you so you much, sir. You can't be a Christian and go in nightclubs and all this. Yes, yes. Yeah. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I'll tell